So today is the day to finish painting the shop building. I'll show you what I've already got done. I couldn't really set up the camera because I didn't have the space, but uh, I made it just around the corner with the paint before I finished up the, uh, the gallon that I was using. So this building, you guys probably already know from watching my videos, so it's got eight foot sides by 26 foot, okay? And then the, uh, the ends are 20 feet wide, and at the peak, I believe it's 13 feet. So, you know, pretty decent size, and um, it's not perfectly flat, of course, because it's tin. And what I found is that the paint that I'm using, it takes a gallon per side, almost exactly a gallon per side. So uh, I'll show you what I'm using, but I just wanted to show you the two sides that I've already finished. So you can see how that turned out. And then I'll take you over here and show you what, uh, what paint I'm using and what I'm using to apply it, because I am spraying it on. And as you can see, the finish is coming out pretty good. It's, uh, it's kind of a, if you, let me see if I can get in here close, kind of show you, it's almost like a, like a hammer tone finish. And the reason that it's coming out that way is because I'm spraying a uh, oil-based enamel and it's, well, frankly, I'm just applying it thick, um, you know, for lack of better explanation. You can see the splatter pattern right here. You know, that's, that's going on pretty thick, and I'm just doing a one-coat application. So uh, before I get to what I'm using, I want to explain real quick. The, uh, the red spots are primer, and I'll show you what primer that is. Uh, but those are spots where there was a little bit of surface rust on the tin, that I cleaned up, but I wanted to make sure that it was primed and prepped really good before I painted over it. Again, I'll show you the primer that I used, but that's what those, uh, that th that's what those red spots are all about. Those were spots where it just needed some primer to make sure that it was uh, properly prepared. So here's what I'm using. The, the paint and primer that I'm using is this Rust-Oleum Professional high performance enamel, which this is the metal primer. Uh, this is an industrial strength rust inhibitor for heavily rusted metal. Probably a bit overkill for what I'm doing, but you know, this is something I plan on doing one time, so I wanna make sure it's done right. So that's the primer that I'm using, and uh, you know, Rust-Oleum has their, their number. So this is Rusty Metal Primer, and the number is 7769. And then the paint that I'm using is the uh, 7786402 Smoke Gray. And the reason I went with that color was just to have a pretty close match to the roof color. Uh, this is the Rust-Oleum Professional High Performance Protective Enamel. Oil base, again, so this is a, it's a pretty thick paint. Um, it's not too thick to spray but um, I know most guys would probably dilute this some, um, but I don't want it diluted. I want it to go on strong, and so I picked up this cheap sprayer off of Amazon. Okay, it's it's nothing fancy. Let me show you show you the model here. This is a Rex Betty um, electric spray gun. Kind of see if I can get in there where you can see some of the details. Uh, 120 volt, 60 hertz. It's a 1,000 milliliter container, and it has a 2.0, a 2.5, and a 3.0 millimeter nozzle. And it's a uh, 500 watt motor, I guess you'd say. So just a basic HVLP electric sprayer. Like I said, this is a, a cheap, like a $60 sprayer off of Amazon. Uh, but these things are great. Uh, not necessarily this brand in particular, but just these uh, these type of sprayers. Um, they're really great for decks and fencing and things like that. But it'll work for, for my application as well. I mean, obviously you're not going to paint a car with this. It's not that type of sprayer. Uh, but for a, a heavy application, works great. So what I'm doing is I'm using the, the 3.0 millimeter nozzle the larger nozzle just simply because of the thickness of the paint. And as I said before, 
um, a gallon of paint is doing one side. So we'll just take the side, for example, um, eight foot by 26, so 208 square feet. So basically I'm getting just a little over 200 square feet out of a gallon. So, you know, I'm, I'm applying it thick, but that's the way I want it. A few other things you're gonna need, obviously some, some paint rags to have on hand for cleanups, uh, mineral spirits for enamel paint, oil-based enamel paint. That's what you're gonna need for cleanup. And then I've got a, just a small bucket here, some mixing sticks, a uh, small brush for cleaning up, and can opener. So uh, that's the only downside to a sprayer is the cleanup afterwards. And this isn't too bad, um, but I'm very picky, and I want that sprayer to look brand new when I'm done cleaning it. And so I get, I get pretty detailed with my cleaning, but basically you just take the uh, nozzle end off, take your hopper off, of course, and you just clean all the components. And it's, it's pretty simple. What I'll do is just take all the components, drop them in the bucket with some mineral spirits and let some of that soak while I'm cleaning one piece at a time. And I just use a combination of the brush and the rags with some of the mineral spirits on it. And it, it doesn't take very long, you know, five, ten minutes to clean everything up. So, uh, and then you're ready to go again. But anyway, I'm going to set up the camera, guys, and I'll get started spraying and kind of show you the process. And I'm not a professional painter by any means. So that's my disclaimer. <laughs> just, uh, just right off the top, um, that's my disclaimer. I am not a professional painter. I'm just a do-it-yourselfer, and uh, I'm doing it myself. So, you know, you guys can get on here and critique me all you want on, on technique and, uh, you know, what I'm doing wrong, what I'm doing right, and that's perfectly fine. You're not going to offend me, and, and I might even learn something. But I can tell you right now, I'm just a do-it-yourselfer. I'm not, uh, not trying to tell anybody this is how it has to be done, okay? So let's get the camera set up and do some painting. Okay guys, so that is the first hopper full. So you can see roughly how far it goes on a thousand milliliters.
that's how much I have left. That little, uh, it's not even quite three feet, but three feet by three feet square, or three foot by three foot square is what I have left. So I got everything painted and uh, scraped the cans clean and that's where I ran out. For so, so for whatever reason, the front of this building just took more paint. Don't know why. It's not any bigger than the back side, but it just took a little more, maybe a little more overspray. It's a little bit breezy today. So maybe some of the paint was being blown away, but no big deal. I'll, uh, I'll get a little bit more paint, probably just a, a pint is all it's gonna take. And I'll finish that up. But uh, that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. And I hope this helps if you're doing a similar project. Let's get out there and do it yourself and save some money. Thanks for watching.